The Carstairs Junction is the busiest rail junction in the network in Scotland and it has been for a few decades a strategic project for the client to redevelop, redesign and to basically upgrade the signalling which was holding the network back. And we have come up with a suitable solution to upgrade the line speed from 40 miles per hour to 110 miles per hour. The basic idea is to have a safe travel for the passengers who are travelling from London to the Glasgow without any speed restrictions. It's a challenge to every discipline because people work on individual disciplines and bringing each discipline onto a single platform is the major challenge. So when we are integrating the individual discipline outputs to get a final output and we can see a lot of things which we don't encounter while doing the individual designs. So these web-based designs really helps us to get more visualization in terms of resolving the issues which we don't encounter while doing our design phases. So working with a 3D federated model on this project allowed us to bring all the disciplines together to support the client and the contractor with decision making, which helped them to strategically plan and then deliver the stages of the work that were required. I would glad that, you know, we have introduced the iTwin modeler here to have that information process managed properly and every discipline leads are very clear what exactly the data is going to get reviewed. And if there is something which we need to redesign upon, that then in there itself we have a clear idea what exactly we need to work and resolve the clashes and resolve each and everything such that every discipline are happy with the solution such that we can have a tailor fit solution to the client. The information that we create and the data we create on our projects has to be reused by the client and it may be reused by another supplier further down in operations or the next project. Likewise, in Arcade, if we want to reuse that information, when we adopt a project further down the project lifecycle, some of the feedback I got from the contractor, for example, was just extraordinary. They were really blown away by the usability and the accessibility of the information through iTwin.